everyone this is a kalpana here so in this video we are going to see a theorem based on open relative open relative to y okay so here is the statement let x d be a metric space and e is subset of y is subset of x then e is open relative to y if and only if e equals to y intersection g where for some subset g of x okay so here we are given that xd is a metric space and e is subset of y is subset of x we have to show that e is open relative to y if e is open relative to y then e equals to y intersection g and if e is equals to y intersection g then e is open relative to y okay so let's get started Prove given ordered pair x d is a metric space and e is subset of y is subset of x. If you consider a non-empty set x, suppose. They are given that y is subset of x and e is subset of y. That is, e is subset of y and this y is subset of set x. Okay. Suppose E is open relative to Y. So here we have to prove that E equals to Y intersection G where G is open subset of Okay, so case 1, if E equals to 5, that is null set, if E equals to null set, then E equals to, we can say Y intersection 5, Y intersection 5 is again a null set, which remains the same. Also, we know that 5 is a open subset of X. Or we can say that phi is open since phi is open. Okay. Case 2. If E is not equals to phi. If E is not equals to phi then there exists some element in E. Say that X belongs to E. Okay, since E is open relative to Y, since E is open relative to Y, by the definition of open relative to Y, therefore, there exists an R radius which belongs to open interval 0, comma infinity such that some set which belongs to Y that is Y belongs to Y such that distance between the point X and Y distance between X and Y is less than Rx. Which is subset of E. Okay. Since by the definition of open relative to Y. Okay. So, let Wx equals to this set which belongs to Y. Y belongs to capital Y such that distance between X comma Y is less than 
Rx. That means, which is nothing but, if there exists a set Y, where E is subset of Y, and if X is a point in E, the distance between this point and the point Y, which belongs to Y, is less than Rx. That means this forms a ball. Okay? X, Y. For each Y, that means it forms some ball. Okay? Which is less than Rx. Okay? So, this is subset of E. We have named it as Wx. So, we can say that, therefore, Wx is subset of E. Okay? Let Vx equals to some elements of X. Z, which belongs to capital X, such that distance between x comma z is less than rx. Okay. Since you are having wx is subset of e. wx is in the sense the elements of y. If this is x X set, Y set, and set E. For WX, you are having a ball. For X to Y, which is less than RX. Likewise, for Vx, if you consider a point X and some point Z from capital X, then the distance between X and Z is also less than Rx. Okay. So, from this we can say that if Wx is subset of E, then this also, that means Vx is also subset of E, which forms a ball, okay? For each element of Vx, it forms a ball. If you consider some set of points, it forms a ball with center X. And some points of capital X. Okay. So distance between X comma Z is less than Rx. And this is also less than Rx. Since Wx is subset of E. So from this we can say that Vx is also subset of E. Therefore, Vx is subset of E. Clearly, Vx is an open ball. Also, we know that Since x belongs to E is arbitrary and Vx is an open ball, we know that every open ball is an open set. 
So from this we can say that therefore Vx is an open set. Okay. Therefore, Wx is equals to y intersection Vx. y intersection Vx will be again the elements of y. The common elements of, if we consider set x which is containing set y. Here y is subset of x. Okay. So, intersection of elements of x and elements of y will be elements of y. Okay. So, you will be having some common elements of y and x which also belongs to y. Okay. So, also wx equals to or e equals to Union of Wx for x belongs to E. Since Wx is subset of E, since Wx is subset of E, so we can say that W is equals to union of set of elements of V, Wx. If this is E and this is Wx, we are having that Wx is subset of E. That means Wx is contained in E. Then we can say that E is equals to union of Wx. Okay. Since we are having the distance between x and y is less than rx and here also distance between x and z is less than rx. That means if you consider any set of points, the distance between the center and those points is always less than rx. So from this we can say that E is equals to union of wx. Okay. Or else... You have to consider the whole set. We can't say that E equals to union of only Wx. Okay. Since we are having this condition which is satisfied. So we can say that E equals to union of Wx. So this equals to union for x belongs to E. Again you are having Wx equals to y intersection Vx. This implies e equals to y intersection union of Vx for x belongs to E. Okay. Let G equals to union of Vx for x belongs to E. Then this becomes E equals to y intersection G. Since we know that the union of arbitrary collection of Open sets is open. So it is clear that the union of Vx which is equals to G is open set. Okay. So we got E equals to Y intersection G where G is an open subset of X. So therefore, G is an open subset of X 
since x belongs to e is arbitrary therefore e equals to y intersection g okay so now conversely suppose that e equals to y intersection g so here we have to prove that is open relative to y okay so consider it as 1 so we have e equals to y intersection g right so case 1 if e equals to 5 then evidently is open relative to y what is the definition of open relative to y some y belongs to capital y such that distance between the center and y is less than r which is subset of e if you take anything from phi phi is nothing but a null set okay so the null set is subset of e we know that the null set is subset of e so we can say that evidently e is open relative to y okay null set exists in set e okay case 2 if e is not equals to 5 if e is not ex, uh, not equals to 5 then there exists some element in e right let us consider that element as some x which belongs to e okay also we have e equals to y intersection g then we can say that x belongs to y intersection g so they we can say that x belongs to g right therefore x belongs to g since x belongs to g and g is open subset of x so you can say that g is open so therefore x is an interior point of g by the definition of interior point x is an interior point of g okay so there there exists an r which belongs to zero comma infinity such that ball of x comma rx is subset of g ball of x comma rx is nothing but or you can take a, okay 
that means you'll get some elements of capital x you'll have some elements the set of elements which belongs to capital x with the condition that distance between the center and these points is less than the radius rx which is subset of g okay this implies if you take intersection y on both sides you'll get z belongs to capital x such that distance between x comma z is less than rx intersection y is subset of g intersection y again you have g intersection y is equals to e and elements of x intersection y will be elements of y capital x capital y right we know that y is subset of x so intersection of elements of x and uh, intersection y will be the elements of y itself so this implies y belongs to capital y such that distance between the center x and the point y is less than rx which is subset of e since e equals to y intersection g okay so if you consider a point x the distance between x and the considered point is always less than r x okay which is nothing but the definition of open relative to y so therefore y belongs to capital y given not given such that distance between x comma y is less than rx is subset of y so by the definition of open relative to y we can say that e is open relative to y since x belongs to e is arbitrary therefore e is open relative to y okay so consider it as 2 so from 1 and 2 1 in one we are having e is open relative to y if e is open relative to y then e equals to y intersection g and in two we are having If e equals to y intersection g, then e is open relative to y. Okay, so from these two conditions, we can say that. therefore e is open relative to y if and only if e equals to y intersection g where g is open subset of x
and sprout. So this completes the proof. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.